Ghost of Tsushima, y'all. All right, so this is what, you know what I mean? We here because I know people were getting nervous. It's developed by Sucker Punch, of course, if y'all didn't know. But um, people were getting nervous, me included, about whether or not we were still going to get this game or, like, when we're going to get this game, when they going to, you know, give us a release date or something because right now all the information we have is the information we got from E3 2018. Now, first, let me start off by saying that was only last year. So, don't freak out. You know what I mean? I know we didn't get anything for 2019, but look, Sony didn't even show up. So, we wasn't getting shit for that anyways. Thing is, you feel me? Obviously, the hype for this game is crazy. The game looks beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. I'm sure the story is going to be insane. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I think the story is going to be like when we get, you know, later on in this video. But first, let's we'll start off, you know, by saying, you know what I mean, don't, don't, don't worry. You know what I mean? First of all, I feel like Sucker Punch is a is a worthy and trust or trustworthy, I should say, uh, studio. You know what I mean? I meant to say game development company. Obviously, it has more than one studio. Anyways. They they haven't given us any bad games to keep it a hundred. I don't remember them giving us any bad games. No, seriously, let's look at their track record. Infamous One, Infamous Two, Sly Cooper Two, Sly Cooper One, Infamous Second Son. They worked on Street Fighter Cross Tekken. They gave us infamous festival, whatever. The point is, they're solid. I, I wouldn't be too worried. You know what I mean? I would not be too worried. I feel as though they're trying to get everything right. I know everybody heard already about the um, the the writer, the, the narrative writer, or who that, that they're trying to find. Um, and, you know, let's start by saying they already have a team, okay? It's not like this person. They, they're, not, they're not sitting here uh, with nobody working on the game, just like with their you know heads you know spun spinning around like oh what are we going to do next type thing i'm pretty sure they have a whole plan in place and i think they just want to make sure that they get all the right aspects like you know we we, we gotta what we gotta realize is that there's a lot that goes in to making a game especially a good one you know what i mean like i mean there's a lot that goes into making bad games but there's a lot that goes into making good ones although there's really not too many bad games that i've played but you know i digress um point is like it, it takes time you need you need you need storyboard writers you need people to do the art you need people to do all the aspects of the of the audio which is the sound of the game as well as the music as you can hear this which is beautiful um you know what i mean you you need you need uh a script you need all the characters it it, it takes a while you feel me Usually, um, when people announce games the way they did for Ghost of Tsushima, it, it usually takes a couple of years before we get a, a release date even, and before it even comes out, you know? So, the th good thing about this, though, is that clearly, you know, I know the question becomes, alright, like, we thought we were going to get this for PlayStation 4. Probably, we probably are, but it's going to be one of two ways. We're either going to get it with PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5. Or, well, it's either going to be one or the other or both. You know what I mean? Or, you know, and I guess if PlayStation 5 is going to be backwards compatible, which everybody thinks it will be, then we might just give it a PlayStation 5. You know? And then, but the thing is, because, I mean, but then they would make it a PlayStation 5 title. Of course, it wouldn't be a PlayStation 4 title just so you could do backwards compatibility on the PS5. Although, if you did do that, you make it a PS4 title, people still have the PS4 and you can still play it on your PS5. I don't know. We're going to see. But... You know, I wouldn't, just don't, don't, I, I say don't freak out, you feel me, like, I think, I think we got some time, um, it's early, we, again, like, there's been many times where we got in games where they announced it a year or two in advance, and we didn't get that much info until a year and a half later, when they were much closer to, like, you know, concluding, or, or at least looking or finishing up what they were starting with the development and the, the, the story and everything. This is not the first time we've seen this happen. Um, it won't be the last. Um, and the thing is, y'all know we don't want this game to be rushed. Because if it was rushed, we all going to be pissed off. Y'all know what happens when you rush a game. You feel me? It's, it's ass. Like it, It's like you did all this stuff. It took you all this time. And you, you know. You didn't, you, you didn't even deliver. So you guys know you'd be tight if they rush this game. It came out and all that hype that we have for it, you know, went right out the window. And we start playing it and there's there's nothing to, to show for all the time that we waited for. So I mean, they, they just announced it, like really, because the official announcement was really last year. I know some people are like, oh, 2017. Yeah, but like. Come on, son. Come on, son. Yeah, five here with that ball. 
He just gave us a little bit. It was a little snippet, but we get that kind of shit all the time. I mean, again, I know I've said this already, but look at Death Stranding. You feel me? Like, all we know is that it's a Ko- it's a Kojima Productions title, which, you know, because everybody loves the Metal Gear series, they gonna run with it. They're like, you know what? We about, what, four months away from November, and we still don't know shit. But that game is gonna come out, and I'm sure it's gonna be good. Like, you know, and I think a lot of other people think it's gonna be good. Um, what's funny about Ghost of Tsushima though is that like, see, you got these these grapple hooks and things, and I have to say like, it, Ghost of Tsushima. This is another reason why I think it's going it's, it's going to take time, anyways, because this this to me has a lot of aspects of a lot of the games that we know and love. For those Assassin's Creed fans, you know it has aspects of that. To me, it even has aspects of. Um, like this is one of the aspects of Assassin's Creed. Obviously, Assassin's Creed isn't the only game. You got games like Splinter Cell and um, Batman and like well now Spider Man and stuff like that, where you go in into a place through the ceiling like he just did, and you sitting here waiting to smack these folks. But what really reminds me of see that's some Assassin's Creed shit, and then we go straight into Batman. Y'all remember when the Batman Link takedowns? Remember that from Arkham City? That's what this reminds me of. You feel me? So they got a lot going on here. You got grapple hooks, you got stealth, you don't have to be stealth, it's, 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 you know, it, it you have a horse, it's open world, I know a lot of people were thinking, hopefully, the, you know the world's gonna be big, um, but the question is, like, a lot of people always having the biggest scale world isn't the best thing, because, like, a lot of other people have said for other games, if you have a big ass world, but there's not that much in it, uh, you have a big ass world for no reason, so, that's the thing you you want this to be you want this to be as lit as it possibly can be and as of right now also just so y'all remember this is just a side mission okay this is this is just a side mission that is this isn't anywhere near a story mission i mean i guess it it shows you how because another thing that's assassin's creed that reminds me of is you recruit people this is one of the people that you kind of get to recruit although they already knew each other but you know that's that's you know that is what it is but i'm just saying you know so we 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 got we we should just we should just be patient you know patience isn't isn't the best thing especially not for humans because you know we always want our stuff right away but i wouldn't worry about it i mean this fight this this scenery this is gonna be beautiful he said hell no you know what i mean that also for you know, for for the for the narrative uh, writer that they're looking for, you people can actually look up like the the you know what what they're looking for because they're not just looking for they're looking for experience, but they need people that have a bachelor's and not only do they have to have a bachelor's, but they have to have knowledge and and feudal for feudal Japan and 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 Mongol era because obviously this is the Mongol invasion from 2074. Yeah, I already know where I'm going with this. I meant to say 1274. God damn it. Oh well. Okay. So. They need people with that knowledge. They need um, people that know the culture, the samurai culture, know the just really the whole feudal Japan culture, as well as knowing Mongolian culture, so that they can make this clash as epic and and uh, realistic as possible. You know what I'm saying? So that's what they're looking for. They're looking for somebody with all that experience. That's that's a good thing, right? You want people that know every goddamn thing, because. Let's make we keep going into a direction where we just want more and more details. We need details, we need details, we need details in the visual, we want details in the story. So, yeah, me, I just gotta wait on it. You feel me? We're gonna watch this trailer too. And I'm gonna tell you what I think is gonna happen because you know, I think I think that as far as the story goes, right, I feel as though. It's like you start off as a samurai, and I'm just tell you why, like at the end. But like, I feel like you start off as a samurai, and you somehow switch to being a ninja type uh, situation, which is really crazy. Because if anybody knows anything about feudal Japan and the clash between ninjas and samurais, is that ninjas were trained and created to to kill samurais. So you know, cause samurais for y'all, you know, samurais you have a you have a lord, and you would watch over the land, and you 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 take care of the lord and, uh, and the lord's family, and you know you could not every everything you did was for the lord that you worked for. So you know, I don't know with this invasion, 
you know, obviously, I, I assume that the, the the Lord that he was working for possibly got killed, and his family may have gotten killed, and I don't know, maybe not though, because they used to. And once you failed as a samurai, you essentially killed yourself with um, you know, I forgot the name of the uh, seppuku. I'm sorry, where you would dis dis disembowel yourself. You know, it's like an honorable way to kind of kill yourself. See. Hell no, I don't surrender, bitch. Now look, this is why I think he's gonna turn into a ninja, right? So you see the armor burning off, right? And you see this mask come up. Now he looks like Hayabusa, right? Except without the hood over his head. And the thing is, that's gonna be crazy because he's supposed to be learning how to be learning the way of the ghost type shit. So, you know, we're gonna see. But I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Don't worry. Ghost of Tsushima is going to come out. It's going to be lit. We're going to be excited. It's going to work out. I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.